ማጽነት ዘለው ሀገር ከአሰብ ተሰዲድ ይወጽድ No one migrates from a country where there is freedom says this woman Then why do millions of people from all over the world migrate Why do people migrate from Africa to Europe from Asia to Europe from Eastern Europe to Western Europe Is it because there is no freedom According to an article on the Telegraph in the year 2014 an estimated 323,000 people migrated from the UK alone Is it because there is no freedom in Britain? Most people don't pay attention to what's being said because they're already blinded by the sensationalized propaganda that's being presented right from the start. The title Eritrea, Africa's North Korea gives the audience and expectation of the worst as North Korea is often portrayed as the boogeyman of the world. So naturally people who've never even heard of Eritrea or point where it's located on a map are expecting to see a negative image that correlates with that description before they even watch the program. If one was to ask, how is Eritrea the North Korea of Africa? What would the answer be? Are there any giant statues of the president of Eritrea? Is there a personality cult? Is there a family dynasty? These are just a few basic questions that people who haven't got a clue about Eritrea need to ask. before they fall for the lies and propaganda of the mainstream media an estimated 5000 people leave eritrea every month this is just another lie propaganda that we frequently hear when it comes to eritrea not only is it impossible for an estimated 5000 to continuously leave every month it would make eritrea practically empty by now given its small population and if anyone wants to find out if the country is emptied They can go and have a look for themselves. Foreign access to the country is heavily restricted, with independent footage being extremely rare. Another lie slash propaganda. In the past year alone, a number of foreign media had visited Eritrea and were able to take their footage out of the country with no problems. Not only that, thousands of tourists, whether it be Eritreans from the diaspora or foreigners, are freely able to take their independent footage out of the country with ease. And a lot of them end up posting their footage on social media sites for the world to see. In their 4 years of trying Freedom Friday have managed to smuggle just 15 minutes of footage outside of the country. <laughs> Any footage from inside the country that is um, smuggled out is 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 newsworthy. It's 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 a very rare thing. We've got to smuggle everything into the country and then getting those pictures and that footage out of the country is another very very big and a very risky operation. <laughs> despite their diligent meticulous sophisticated planning for their very very risky operations they only managed to quote on quote smuggle just 15 minutes of footage in the space of 4 years you know you could have just put the footage in a luggage or something like all the other people do then go through those very very risky life threatening missions it's not like the government is going to be opening up every single luggage with electronic devices in them and then looking through the contents of those devices which some will inevitably include hundreds of hours of footage of people's vacation not only is it moronic but also impractical we cannot use the internet because it's monitored we use telephones as our primary um form of contact so the internet is monitored and the phones aren't how does that make any sense What's stopping them from monitoring the phones as well? At least try to be a bit more consistent with the lies and portrayal of a country that monitors and controls absolutely everything, from controlling footage that goes out of the country to monitoring the internet. Rebel group Lasado from the Afar region claim to fight for democracy in Eritrea. The organization conducts missions inside Eritrea, retreating back to safety in neighboring Ethiopia. We met with the group after just having returned from a mission. Yeah, sure. They just came back from a mission. 
right in time for you to make this propaganda video. What a coincidence. These are just a few puppets of the Ethiopian regime, located inside Ethiopia. Nowhere near Eritrea. They are insignificant. To portray them as anything else, is just, too funny. They even dressed up kids in military camouflage, to boost up the small number of puppets, for this choreographed staged drama. Who are these, neighboring countries with democracies? Ethiopia? Where the regime wins 100% of the votes. I think uh, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia was uh, just uh, elected in, uh, with 100% of the vote. Uh, Does he even think that that was a democratic uh, election? I said 100%. Fire. <laughs> Could you say what law? Or is it Djibouti, who has the democracy? A country that has been ruled since its independence in 1977, by one family, a Somalian-born uncle, and an Ethiopian-born nephew. People live in peace, and they love each other, they have rules, says this automaton. Do these people from the Sumer tribe of Ethiopia, look like they're living in peace, being chained up like slaves? Do the Omo people, look like they're living in a happily ever after, fairyland utopia, where hundreds of its people had been slaughtered by the Ethiopian regime, in the past year alone? Or how about the hundreds of thousands of Maras we see protesting here, denouncing the criminal TPLF regime? اسمع فيسبوك تكمل الفيديو يا غي؟ تكمل تكمل يا غي؟ ها يلا يلا It's as if everyone that reaches this part of Ethiopia, the home of the pathological lies ruling Ethiopia, is infected by an epidemic Lyme disease. There are many internet cafes in Eritrea, mainly in Asmara, but with a slow connection. Websites are freely accessible. Young Eritreans who have not fled stay connected to the diaspora through the internet. They use Wi-Fi outside and inside internet cafes. You have found your freedom. Ha ha ha. If you consider being locked up in a refugee camp as you being free, then you clearly have your own twisted definition of what freedom means. I guess there won't be any reason for you to be taking the long daunting journey to Europe or America since you have your newfound freedom in this paradise refugee camp. Guess I spoke too soon. Just got the impression that she was living in a paradise refugee camp. Is there no engineering courses or education in Ethiopia? For you to be seeking to go all the way to the US after just two weeks of arriving in Ethiopia. Every time, you hear or read negative news about Eritrea, just remember that you are being exposed to a good dose of propaganda, and lies about Eritrea. If you're looking for the truth, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Let's go, 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 let's go